yeah, I go by the name of DJ Bless, aka Sutter Kane. Back up in this one, multi platinum producer, filmmaker, scorer, everything. Full time lover, father, good friend, lovely guy. So, today, what are we talking about? The West Audio Prometheus, which I use on my mix bus every single day. Now, you say, Bless, what is the West Audio Prometheus? It is West Audio's version of the Poltec in a 500 series with digital front and analog circuitry, all transformless. And it has recall, which is high five. You feel what I'm saying? So you can totally control it with the plugin and you have full recall. So it's a digital front analog circuitry, digital front analog circuitry, just like all of West Audio's newer stuff. It's dope. Now you say bless. Why is it transformless? It is transformless because that's how they made it. It has tons of punch. The thing punches. Now you can have the two version of the Poltec and the Prometheus and be fine. Like you found what I'm trying to say? I use the Prometheus on my mix bus almost every, not almost, every single mix. Like every mix I've done in the past year, the Prometheus has been on the mix bus. It hasn't left. I haven't even put it in the mix on kicks, snares, or nothing. It sits in my mix bus. But you know why? Because it punches. And you know what I had before then? Two Poltecs. Do I still have the two Poltex? No, they're gone. They're gone. They're out of here. Once I got the Prometheus and heard how that thing sounded, I said, you know what? Old two Poltex. We had a good time. We had fun. We danced. We sang. We made stuff punch as well. But it's come with the new. It's time to go. So what they did was, instead of putting transformers and tubes in, they put Cornhill inductors in there. So it still gives the fat sound, but the benefit is it punches harder. If anybody who's known, anybody who's had, actually, excuse me, anybody who's had a tube Poltec will tell you, they do sound good, but they don't punch as hard as like Transformers stuff. You feel what I'm saying? Even things with Transformers. So for me, you can have both if you just really want to, or just buy the Prometheus and be happy with it, which I think is dope. And then the high end on it sounds beautiful. I mean, it sounds really good. So you have stereo, mono, and mid-side. And guess what? When you buy it, it's two channels, not one. Two channels. So I go Dione into Prometheus. And that's it. You feel what I'm saying? And then I use Hyperion inside the mix for kicks, snares, vocals, whatever else I might need it on. But the Prometheus, it sits in there. And it is beautiful. It sounds beautiful. It is beautiful. Beautiful. They should call it Prometheus Beautiful. All right, so what we're going to do now is drums. What am I known for? Drums. What do I get the most messages about? Drums. All right, this is how I would use the Prometheus along with the Dione on a drum break. All right, so let's make it happen. Once again, yo, you got to have the ooh face. If you don't have the ooh face, you got to question your mix, yo. So right there, you have a lot of punch. Now, if you notice on the Dione right here, where the THD is, if this is what I would recommend. If you're doing drums, I would keep it on high. 
because I've noticed on high it becomes way more punchier. Medium I would use for more um, like regular mixes, like you feel what I'm saying? Like if you got vocals and stuff, I will leave it on medium. But if you just have this solely on drums, hands down, this right here, I would keep on uh, high. And um, for Prometheus, I like medium. I personally like medium. And the low end is just so thick and big, yo. Pause. <laughs> Super pause. Is 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 big though. You know what I'm saying? Pause once again. <laughs> you can't say thick and big and then not say pause. You know what I'm saying? So the joint knocks, yo. And like I said, the high end on this thing is beast. It is really good. Like it's really good. I love this combination. I use this combination a lot for uh dr well actually mix bus like I said at the beginning. But messing with this now, I might start using it on drums. Like hands down, like in the mix, and then buy me another Dione and uh Prometheus to go on uh, mix bus. Hmm. Things that make you go, hmm. This past two months or three months, I've done a ton, a ton of mixes and everything. The past half a year, I've done a ton of production, but these past two to three, maybe even four months, I've mixed like every single day. And the Prometheus has been on all of it. And these are basically the settings that I've used for mostly all of it. You feel what I'm saying? Like give or take certain parts of the mix, but yeah usually i kind of keep it like a um set it forget it type thing and just adjust here and there when i need it but overall yo i love the prometheus like i said i've had other poltex before they're no longer in my rack i just use this and using this again just now reinforms me why i have these like the punch is unmatched and along with the dione i mean here we go along with the dione it's like a perfect combination yo like for real it is the perfect combination you got the dione ssl style bus compressor with a Poltec EQ, which is the Prometheus. I mean, and they both, you can see digitally, you can control from the plugin, you can control it from the rack, whichever way you like, you feel what I'm saying? And you can save presets, which is dope. I mean, it's dope, you know, it's really good. And if people who know me know I got a rack of gear and this is what I use the most. So I hope this helped you. Once again, I go by the name of DJ Bless, AKA Sutter Kane. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at Sutter Kane NSD. Make sure to um, check out the West Audio Gear. And if you do decide to pick up the uh, Prometheus, make sure to tag me in it, yo. Definitely make sure to tag me. I'd love to hear your music on it. All right, so be safe, everyone. Peace.